I am Dr. Greg Castello, board certified family practice with CostelloWellness.com, and we're going to talk about some interesting mice study that show that there may be some rejuvenating effects to giving an old mouse blood from a young mouse. So the first study published in the journal Nature, researchers took plasma, the watery material that blood is mixed with, and transfused it into older mice. So they took blood from young mice and transfused it eight times over 24 days into an old mouse, and they tested cognition by running the mouse through a maze. The mice, after receiving the younger mice's blood, had improvement in their ability to get through the maze, so an evidence of improved cognition. Uh, they also had a second test where the mice had to learn how to avoid harmful or electrical shock, and they did this quicker after receiving blood from young mice. The second test, the uh, researchers took an old mouse and grafted it to a young mouse, and the two mice shared circulation, so the older mouse had exposure to blood from a younger mouse. They did uh, autopsy or biopsies of the older mouse's brain, and they looked specifically at the hippocampus, the learning centers, and showed that there was improvement in neuron function or an increase in the number of new neurons in the old mouse's brain as an indication of improvement in function. The researchers also took the plasma and they heated the plasma before giving it to mice and this heated plasma did not have the same benefits as fresh plasma which indicates there may be something like a protein in the plasma that's broken down by heat that is responsible for the improvements and should be transferable not the actual blood. Um, second research study, they did something similar. They transfused plasma from a young mouse into an old mouse, did similar brain biopsies in different areas of the brain, and they looked at it and they also saw that the what's called spine structures or the neurons of the uh, brain were improved in the older mouse after receiving a blood transfusion. Uh, they also looked at a chemical called cyclic AMP, and there was increase in this. This is something that goes down with age. Uh, this hormone was actually increased in the older mouse after receiving a transfusion. Um, another study, they gave actual blood to the old mouse from a young mouse and had an improvement in physical ability so they could run farther on a wheel after receiving young mouse blood. Uh, this researcher is hypothesizing that the protein is called GDF11. Um, it's a protein both in humans as well as mice. Uh, they're trying to isolate this protein and give it specifically not the plasma. If it's successful, they're proposing human trials of giving GDF11 to humans uh, synthetically derived and seeing if we have a similar improvement in cognition. Uh, so this may be treatment for Alzheimer's, other uh, debilitating illnesses, uh, other neurologic uh, progressive diseases such as ALS are all hypothesized to uh, benefit from this if it's something that is uh, perceivable to generate in a lab. The question is, is if this protein, if it is indeed the uh, miracle protein, is something that could be given by mouth as a supplement or if you'd have to give it as an IV or as an infusion. Uh, we don't think we're going to be giving people actual blood transfusions from younger people uh, because of risk of infection um, and the ability to actually have access to young person's blood. So uh, look for more updates on this in the future as they become available, but three different mice studies, all with similar findings that plasma or blood from young mice uh, can transfer improvements in cognition and actual physical brain structure to old mice. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.